and the narrowest hinge of my hand puts to scorn all machinery. This sentence is from one of Walt Whitman's most respected poems, Song of Myself. I'm Paul Stankett. I'd like to share with you the process and techniques that I have both perfected and developed. These techniques have enabled me to create this glass orb that I have titled Orchid Bouquet Cluster. The process that I use to create my botanical art, it's called flame working. And here I'm taking commercially available colored glasses, melting them into what I call material preparation. Here I'm making the green glass rods to press out leaves for the design. When I'm focusing on a blossom, I take advantage of colored glasses rolled into powder glasses, and that gives me a variety of shades. Here I'm focusing on the blossom. I'm taking the lip of the blossom and sealing sepals and petals onto the lip. And by heating the petals and shaping it, I'm developing a paphiopetalum orchid. Once I have the blossom finished, I put it in an annealing oven and anneal it at 975 Fahrenheit so that it becomes stable. When I flame worked all the components, I bring them to the hot plate on my bench and by keeping it hot with a Bunsen burner underneath, I attach the botanical components into the design. Once the components are finished into a design, I bring it to a pickup oven where it is going to be encapsulated in clear glass. My assistant is preheating clear glass to be dropped onto the colored glass design and encapsulate the orchids. We repeat the process with two halves sealed together and shaping it into the final orb. In the studio, I take advantage of two heat sources, the glory hole and the gas oxygen bench burner. The heat involved is upwards of 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, shaping the glass into a sphere. By putting two halves together, I'm able to suggest the design is 360 degrees. Magnification plays an important role in the presentation of the design. Once the orb is shaped, it goes into the oven to anneal for 40 hours. Once the glass is annealed, it's then ground and polished to be finished.